This special edition of CBS 4 News begins with two wildfires in the middle of winter, both forcing evacuations tonight. People living on the east side of Cherry Creek State Park watch the flames push closer to their homes. And the second fire damages a golf course and pushes people out of their homes. Those homeowners just got back into their houses. It's been a busy night, a lot to get to. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Karen Lee. I'm Jim Benneman. We're streaming right now on CBSN Denver. And as you can see behind us, firefighters are working into the night. Those fires burned off Morrison Road at the Fox Hollow Golf Course at Lakewood and on the other side of town at Cherry Creek State Park. Tori Mason live with the firefighting efforts at the park right now. Tori. Well, Jim, the fire isn't as bad as it once was, at least not the smoke plume, but it is still very active. I mean, if you just look at the burn scar on the ground, you could see how close it got to these homes just in comparison to the fence. Now, these homes that back up right to the fence, I'm told that they were actually bringing out water hoses just to get water as far as they can into this land so it wouldn't be as dry. Now, earlier, South Metro firefighters laid wet lines next to concrete trails within the park to help stop the fire from growing further northwest. Now, so far, no homes or structures have been damaged. In the last two hours or so, earlier evacuations were lifted for homes around Cherry Creek State Park. Still no word on the cause of this fire yet. South Metro estimates that 100 to 150 acres have burned so far. So the big problem right now is the temperatures. It's really cold. It's cold enough to freeze the water pumps on the fire engines. And again, like I said, this fire is still very active. Firefighters plan to be out here all night just to control some of these hot spots if the wind picks up. We're live in Arapahoe County. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. Tori